Hello guys, Beast here and in this tutorial we're gonna make our own customized gaming overlay. It's really easy, it's really simple. Uh, of course I'm gonna make it in a simple way but I will teach you how to make a gaming overlay for any game you are playing. It's We will just start by going into the game. You just play your own game. What you want to do is go into the game, just open up, start the game and take a screenshot and that way you got the resolution that you want to overlay as you can see here i just took a screenshot of my game and i'm gonna go to the paint.net right now it just control v there and it will take automatically its dimensions uh it starts with 800 pixels over 600 i think but don't worry about that because it's gonna make it the, exactly the resolution that you want look at that beautiful bea beautiful okay now i already downloaded a picture which i want to use so uh this is the picture that i want so what i'm gonna do is i will use it for my overlay for the gaming i'm gonna copy the picture and all i want to do is open a new layer which is very important keep a layer for each individual whatever you want to do like I, I will call this one the final and why uh, by the way you can do that by double clicking the layer and name it whatever you want I will call it final layout and here is where I'm gonna do my overlay gaming overlay so I will control V use the control V on your keyboard to paste the picture and right now I'm resizing it the way I want to it's just each individual however he likes it and I'm gonna uh, zoom in here by the way you can zoom in by pressing the control button on your keyboard and then scroll upward on your mouse and right now I just click the wand which we already used before and I'm clicking on the white color to remove it from the picture to keep it transparent I only want the picture <coughs> As you can see, I'm trying to remove all the white color from the picture. And by the way, the white color from the background is not getting anywhere and it's not being removed because we opened a new layer. And that's very important. The layers in this say uh, paint is very important to keep each layer by its own. As you can see, I like it this way. So I put it on the corner, on the upright corner. And right now I want to paste it on the other way, like on the left corner, upper left corner. And the way I do that is I open a new layer, as you can see, and I already uh, copied the, <coughs> the image and paste it here. Right now I go to, as you can see, I can make it like flip uh, uh, horizontally and I paste it like that. You see? Um, let's do it again uh, what happened here uh, okay so I copy from the layer and paste it as you can see you see I just paste it by control V you always can use control C control V on your keyboard to do that and as you can see on both corners now I have the picture as I want and of course don't forget to merge the layers that you open and now I want to do some I don't know just just some stuff uh, you know you you can make whatever you want I'm just make it pretty simple so you understand what I'm doing right now I choose the color picker here as you can see I cho chose the color that I want and now I can start painting uh, by the way as you can see I already opened a new layer so if I fucked anything I can just go backwards and here you can use the brush width whatever you want as you can see look here you can choose whatever you want. Uh, I think five for me is fine. I mean, we're just doing anything just so you know how to make your gaming overlay. So let's uh, put it, um, I guess five is fine. Okay, so right now I'm making it around here. <laughs> just make sure to do it as you want. Um, I think that's fine. Uh, maybe here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is fine. No, right now I want to remove this one because it's getting over that and I don't want that. I want to make it a bit lower just to uh, paint around the bar here. 
and let's remove this corner here uh, actually more you see it's like it's your own art you can do whatever you want because on the right one here I want to make the corner like a bit better um, let's do the uh, here you can pick this one to choose the line and you can make a line here on top of that one as you can see I'm making a line uh, maybe I need to make it to the left a bit it's really really simple you can play with it along like and you will understand a lot of stuff maybe some tricks you can do with it we might do some tricks right here but uh, when you play with it it's gonna be a lot easier for you let me remove this one a bit because it got a little bit over okay that's fine now let, let's do the circle one for example you see I'm gonna make a circle and I'm gonna paint it the same color as you can see in the primary color it is what I want to now I make a little bit of a smaller circle here as you can see here and when I delete it you just press the delete button and you can see I made a bit of a circle here of course it doesn't matter what I'm doing right now I'm doing just a simple stuff but for you to know in the future whatever you want you can do it that way I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make some tricks some stuff so you understand the things in general like for example here I'm gonna cut it just because I want to like you don't need to you can do whatever you want it's your own custom thing I'm gonna I'm here just to teach you how to use the paint to make your own customized a gaming overlay and here I'm using as you can see the brush so I can do whatever I want here um, you can like literally just hand a paint here you can see you see of course you can spend as much time as you want on it but here I'm just doing uh, simple stuff so you understand what we're doing uh, this one is a bit hard ah, yeah let me do it um, I guess this one is fine it's just we'll do it whatever you see we already got now uh, when I finish this one <coughs> um, of course I'm gonna merge the merge the layers because I don't want to fuck up anything as we have said before <coughs> and I think this is one is fine for the tutorial here I don't want to make it too long as well so and here by the way you can do like uh, a square or whatever you want if you have a webcam maybe you want to put your webcam here where you where people will watch you if you are doing a stream or even if it's YouTube video a lot of people put their webcam but for now because I don't have a webcam uh, I'm just gonna put a logo or whatever my own icon of YouTube uh, so <clears throat> because I don't uh, like you get the idea right that's what I'm gonna do and here I am I'm gonna actually make it a bit of a corner you see I always use Control Z on the keyboard if I don't like what I what I did and I can redo it again I'm just making it a bit of a corner here you see I always like if I do it a bit over I just Control Z or Control Z whatever you call it and uh, you can just fix whatever you just did okay let's make it I be beautiful be a beautiful love it okay now what I can do for example I can pick the picture I already use um, just uh, let's say let's take the picture and I can put it in this corner for example if I want to of course I'm gonna merge the layers because it's very important because I know this one I want so I merge now I can play again so I open a new layer and I want to put the picture in this corner so let's put it here um, I'm gonna flip it vertical as you can see because don't worry by the way uh, you can always control Z you see I already copied the picture control C I copied the picture and now I can control uh, do control V on the new layer don't forget always always when you want to copy something you copy the layer that you want so now I flip vertical I copy the <coughs> picture don't forget to copy the picture then when you press ctrl V you you like to you paste it and then you one now I just delete the other stuff that I don't want 
you see I can delete because I'm in layer 3 so nothing will go away and I can take this picture now as you can see and put it in this corner you see it's very very easy and of course you can zoom in to put it exactly as you want for this tutorial this is enough I'm just putting simple stuff so you can understand the idea around it okay let's put something like okay let's merge them first because this is good now let's put uh, here you can put your webcam in the OBS or whatever you stream in or or record in but for now I'm gonna just gonna paste this logo here of course I open a new layer before and now I am just gonna put it inside the square here of course with the shift when you press shift and with your mouse you uh, you don't uh, change the um, how do you call it the <laughs> dimensions of the picture but now of course I change it a bit because I just want it I want it to fit in inside the square thing <laughs> look at that beautiful beautiful B beautiful good job guys good job beautiful. it is beautiful and as you can see it's perfect for now and by the way now when uh, when I just finished that I can delete the background and look this is how your gaming overlay will look like and of course it's gonna fit of course you don't you have to save it as PNG and right now I'm gonna just save it on the desktop because why not and I'm gonna call it game layout and as you can see now it fits perfectly because we <coughs> uh, we copied our all our whole screen now let's look how does it look like inside the game so I'll open my OBS and of course you can open whatever streaming uh, software you have and let's uh, just uh, put the game I just play a random game or whatever to see how it looks like um, and of course we I'm gonna put the picture I just made in my OBS and I will show you how it looks inside the game As balance dictates. I'm just playing a random game just to show you how it looks like let's put in uh, League of Legends I guess uh, where it is now I'm gonna switch out of the game to show you how the game looks like <laughs> let's see how it's you know, okay finally we got in and right now what I'm gonna do is take the picture and put it on top of my game and you will see how it fits perfectly uh, I'm just gonna game it low layout and of course choose the picture wherever you saved it okay I'll put it here look at that look at that it's beautiful exactly as I wanted look at that you see it's perfect in top of my game and let me show you how it looks inside the game here on your left you can see what people would would see they will see you perfectly with the picture you've just made good job guys and it looks beautiful and by the way I want to show you more thing uh, one, one more thing uh, and that's it if you're streaming and or you want to put more stuff of course you can do on top of the picture a let me show you what I mean of course don't forget to open a new layer and I want to show you what you can do more I for example of course I have to pick the color first um, okay let me show you let's say this rectangle I want to use and let me choose with the color picker the the color we want which is this one and you can see on the primer of course I have to choose the layer first and you can see on the primary color it is already chosen okay let's put here a rectangle and you can of course uh, make it a bit uh, to look a little bit uh, better by using for example these from here you can choose whatever you want and we want it to be on draw fields uh, field space sorry draw field space and let's make a triangle here for example oh what did I do okay you see very very easy but we don't want it this side so what we're gonna do as you already know just let, let's just um, take it out the one we just draw copy it control C of course and um, one second yeah 
let's take it away from here okay you see control V and what we do you already know flip vertical right and now we copy it right and then control C uh, sorry control Z control Z to undo the stuff now we control V as you can see it already fits exactly how we want to of course it doesn't matter if it goes uh, like uh, over the picture like if it just go away out of the picture because that's not uh, that doesn't count and now we can uh, control C this one you see I just control that. and of course we can flip horizontally and we can put the uh, on the other side to make it on the other side you see now control C this one and you see I already controlled and now I can delete this one and control V here and it looks perfecto beautiful 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 stuff thank you beast and now of course here you can write whatever you want or you can say like blast donate or whatever and for the sake of this tutorial I'm just gonna type like um uh, of course I have to change the color first because it's the same color let's put it in black for now and uh, let's say welcome and of course you can put it in the the way you want to uh, I'm gonna just put it in the middle and it's really easy beautiful good job and I hope you learned something from this tutorial and hope to see you again in my next tutorial guys if you found it helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to get notified when my next video is up and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to answer your questions. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. See ya!